Listen here, if you're someone who's not using an amazing browser app, like Arc, you're missing out on one of the best experiences out there. So first and foremost, I'm a level with you. I was an Arc denier for a while as a Windows user who was mad at the fact it wasn't on Windows for a while. And the fact that it's out now on Windows 11 makes me happy for Windows users. I am a Mac user primarily now. I have been for a couple months as I purchased a MacBook Pro in April of last year and slowly ended up using this more and more. But I figured since now it's available for so many different platforms, I could show you how amazing Arc Browser is not only on a computer, but on your phone. But in order to make this happen, you're gonna need to sync these two devices together. So I wanted to show you how that works. So I'm just gonna open up Arc Browser on my phone, which is my primary and default browser on my phone. And the way that it can sync with Arc Desktop is if you sign in with Arc like this, and I'm questioning now whether I have an account if I'm you. And what I essentially can do is, if I don't know, I can create an account, right? But you'll have to visit arc.net to download Arc for Mac or Windows in order to make this happen. So then if you've already you know, downloaded and have the app like I do, you'd go into Arc and go to your settings. And you'll notice that I have my account as admin at riseproductive.com. Okay, I can have the option to actually sync my sidebar with iCloud, which is awesome. So I can either merge the data, which is recommended, use what's on my computer or revert to iCloud. So I'm gonna sync sidebar with iCloud since I am on this device. However, what I can do now is I'm gonna just sign in with Arc, get my email in here. And then now, as you'll see in my phone, it'll say, we noticed that you haven't turned sync on. This allows your spaces to be available on mobile too. Open Arc on your computer, go to settings, turn on sidebar sync, which I've already done. I'm gonna say, okay, I did it. And then you'll notice that it says signed in as admin at riseproductive.com and I'm synced, right? So now if I go to Arc, I would then just interact with my computer real quick. So I can say, I wanna go to uh, youtube.com. So then now you'll see inside of my computer and on my phone, it shows last synced 7.36 p.m., okay. And now what's really cool is you'll see on the bottom left here where it shows that little uh, desktop icon that it shows exactly what I have open. So for example, the release notes for the Arc update are right within here. And I can see all the great goodness that this product has added recently, which I'm not trying to actually plug, which is funny, but it's really cool. It's not gonna lie. And I just love the fact that I go back and forth between these two different things. So say I had a YouTube video pulled up right on my computer. I could say something along the lines of the, the roast of Tom Brady, which was a really funny video that was there. In a moment, basically when I open up my phone, I'll very casually have this on my phone now. So if I click on it, it pops right up. And I've been a user of a lot of products and none have made it that seamless. And especially the fact that it has that iCloud integration. I mean, you're kidding me with how simple and effective this is. And if I move it up to the top here on those pen sections, you'll notice that if I close these out and look at this again, space doesn't have it because it's not on the side here. And yes, this does in fact mean that all my bookmarks from my computer actually align here. So I have a bunch of different like affiliate links, finance links, life admin kind of stuff. All of this syncs seamlessly to my phone from my computer with minimal effort. And if I wanna make more spaces, this is my main space, but say if I wanna make a new one right here where I end up right clicking and I can delete the space, share the space, bunch of different options or rename it. I can click here and make new space and call this Rise Productive, which is my business name and just do something like on brand, create space here. You'll see that in a very second, this is the main space, but if I scroll to the side or the left, Right, these are the different spaces that can exist. I've made one on the bottom. Here you'll see that if I click through, these are the different ones. That's right, say for example, I had something like Twitter on a specific tweet that I enjoyed from Kieran Drew, who's a great writer, and he tweeted something good today. Like when I tell people <laughs> I'm a writer, they think, I, they think I'm writing books. When I explain I write emails, they think I'm broke. I think this tweet is hilarious. So I click into this tweet, and on my page here, if I go into Rice Productive, you'll see that that Kieran Drew tweet is right there. And if I open it up, I get to see it for all its glory. Really cool and convenient. Just the fact that I can go back and forth in this experience is amazing. It definitely makes me think about switching from Microsoft Edge because I have been using Arc as a browser on my phone. And it's like, man, I, I really think if I had it together, in this experience, it would be even that much more effective. So let me know what your thoughts are on this cool workflow and if you're gonna use 
this back and forth interaction with Arc and your desktop as well as mobile browser moving forward. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you after watching this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools just like this one.